Hello Capricorn, and welcome to Blunt Sagi Tarot. My name is Robin, and today's singles, this is for the singles, we're going to do your love reading for the next couple weeks. We're going to find out if some new love is coming your way, what's going on, what you can expect. If there's no new love here, we will find out when it's coming your way, Capricorn. So, I do want to say thank you so much for liking, watching, and subscribing. I genuinely appreciate it. And let's get your cards out and get into your reading. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, Capricorn, so your cards are out. Your overall vibe theme energy is the six of coins in reverse. So this is, you're pretty, you're feeling very out of whack right now, very overwhelmed potentially. Whoa, sorry about that. That was my dog, eh? Where are you going? What are you doing, mama? So um, you're feeling, you're definitely feeling, I feel like you're feeling overwhelmed. So unrequited love, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to. And codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So I also see with the Empress in reverse, she's also a sign of dependency. So there's something here, Sag or, sorry, not Sagittarius, Capricorn, that um, you're feeling pretty overwhelmed about. Let's find out what this is all about, what's going on here with you. Um, the great news is we have some really positive cards here in the future, but at this exact moment, I really feel like I feel you're overwhelmed. Um, you're very sad. Um, the two of coins in reverse, or sorry, the five of coins in reverse, you you don't want to be left out in the cold anymore. What do you want to say about the five of pentacles in reverse? Whoa. A lot to say. So... The Page of Swords in reverse, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, the Knight of Wands in reverse, Two of Pentacles in reverse, the Four of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, and the Page of Cups. So really the way that I'm going to put this is you want love, but you just have not been happening for you. You do not, you just have not been meeting the right people. I feel, I feel like you've just been meeting assholes, just dickheads. You're drawing the wrong type of person to you. It could be um, maybe there's something that you are addicted to, uh, Capricorn. I mean, addictions can be anything. It could be food. It could be sex. It could be TV. It could be working. It could be um, exercising. You know, there could be anything. But something is um, definitely affecting it. And it's making you feel overwhelmed. I feel like you know that it's affecting it. And you're drawing in the wrong people. Uh, maybe what you're doing is, I don't know, like maybe you, I don't know. But you just want love. I really just feel like you just want this. You just want to get out of this. Out of this overwhelmed. I feel like you feel a little bit lonely. You just want love, uh, Capricorn. That's all you want. So the Ten of Swords in reverse is representative of a cycle ending. What do you want to say about the Ten? I'm not taking those because I hadn't shuffled yet. Let's put those back. What do you want to say about the Ten of Swords in reverse? cups in reverse and the king of cups so definitely sick of the drama i feel like maybe you pick up you pick up drama mamas or drama papas or people who are just really dramatic just really you know got to make an entrance got to leave an entrance kind of people they just got to make their presence known and i definitely feel like you just want a different cycle you want that to be done with um but you but at the same time you feel like there's this delay it's just not happening for you and you don't know why and i feel like you're getting frustrated so what is this Knight of Cups in reverse? Notice like everything in the present is like reverse, even in the past. So I definitely feel like you're overwhelmed. Um, you're just lonely. You're sad. Seven of Cups is clarifying the Knight of Cups in reverse. Um, the Three of Swords, the King of Wands in reverse, and the Eight of Wands. So you are making the choice to um drop that and move forward so oh, you're yeah so there's two cards of moving forward so i definitely feel like you're finally dropping this um you're seeing i feel like you're um looking at yourself and i feel like you're seeing within you what it is that you're doing that's attracting this or that's causing this or bringing that type of 
persona or that archetype or that character, that person you're with. I feel like you keep running into the same person and it's just a lot of drama. Maybe they're, you're, uh, you know what I'm hearing here, Capricorn, is maybe you're, um, maybe you're, you're going after the attractive ones, but sometimes just because someone's attractive on the outside doesn't mean they're attractive on the inside. They could be completely egotistical, completely filled with drama. They could be even narcissists. So I feel like that's what you're attracting here are the King of Wands personas in reverse. So very attractive people, very sexy, very gorgeous. Maybe maybe it is exercise and you know, you're picking up men at the gym or you're picking up sexy chicas at the gym or whatever it is, right? But I feel like um, you realize that whatever that was, whatever it was that you were looking for, it just ended up in heartache. It wasn't working for you, but it, you see that. So that's great. You have that realization here. Um, and the next, like, this is the past, this is the, you know, current, and this is the future, right? That's how I read these in case I never explained that or you're trying to figure out what I'm talking about. But this is where you hear right now. So you're ending that cycle. You're realizing this within yourself. I feel like you're doing a lot of self-evaluation here. It's like when you, because when the same thing keeps happening, you're obviously, you should start looking at yourself and say, why do I keep allowing this to happen? <laughs> you know, the choice that I'm making are causing me to end up in positions I don't like being in and I'm sick of dealing with it. You're going to move forward, though, and you're going to move forward fast. So let's see what this Queen of Coins in reverse is. Um, what do you want to say about this Queen of Pentacles in reverse? The Empress in reverse. Ooh. Um, judgments in reverse. Yeah, I definitely feel like this is you. So you could be the feminine energy that I'm speaking to. Um, or that I'm sensing. And again, roles can be reversed. It's, it is what it is. But that's what I think. That's what I'm feeling. That's what I'm um, sensing. Um, and look at all three of them are in reverse. You are definitely, you're definitely feeling overwhelmed and feeling, um, I mean, got the Empress twice. So um, I feel like you are overwhelmed. Maybe you're really struggling to to move past that codependency. Maybe the codependency was this past person. Maybe you're, you know, there are people out there um, who always have to have a partner. They don't do well being single. And maybe you're just realizing you got to be single for a while. You got to do some soul searching here. You can't find love until you're truly love yourself. And right now, Capricorn, I do not feel like you're truly in love with yourself. I feel like you might feel like the queen of cups, the queen of, or sorry, the queen of pentacles in reverse. I feel like you might be, um, you don't feel stable, but I feel like it's more of an emotional thing. Or uh, maybe you were being a little too greedy and superficial. So sorry to attack you like that, but I that's how you're feeling. That's I sense this is what you are feeling. And you're feeling overwhelmed because you're starting to do a lot of self-realization here. And you're starting to really look at yourself, which is great. So maybe you're going through the dark night of the soul. And those are powerful. Those are very difficult times. But you always emerge out of them way better. Way You always emerge in an amazing place. I'll say that. But it's not fun getting there. The journey is really difficult. And I feel like you are very overwhelmed with your emotions, with your changes, with your life. I feel like you're just, you're feeling out of whack. It has been a burden. But the thing that I love about this 10 of cups or this, ten, I keep saying the wrong sign. What is my problem? Uh, this 10 of wands is this really reminds me of as above, so below, right? As within, so without. And look, um, like, look how this tree has been through so much. This tree has grown through that skull. He has mastered the obstacles, mastered himself. Nothing stopped this tree from blossoming into a huge tree. It just grew through it. Um, I feel like that's you. And that's what you're going through right now is you're going through this huge blossoming moment, Capricorn. And I know this is a love reading. This was kind of weird because with Sagittarius, I'm trying to do a love reading and it ended up being a lot of uh, career. So for you, this is really a lot about emotion. Um, you're really going through a major transformation within yourself, but you're going to come out on top. Look at those, those weird little flowers blossoming. Look how vibrant that tree is. You will overcome these obstacles and be better for them. And there's the chariot. You're moving forward to a better place. The chariot moves with success. He moves fast. He goes after what he wants. What do you want to say about the charity chariots? You want to clarify or say, and there's that judgment in reverse again. So this really is self-discovery and self-transformation. This is about figuring out who you are. This page of cups, I also, I don't pick it up as somebody else. I feel like this is your heart, opening your heart chakra, figuring out what you want, going after what you want and making yourself happy dropping the lies. I feel like the moon here is self-deceit Capricorn. I feel like this is, I mean, this is beautiful, but it's also, I, I feel bad for you. I understand. I went through a dark night of the soul uh, about four years ago, so I know how difficult they are. 
Um, everything in your life is probably going to change and you're just looking at yourself thinking you start to see your choice patterns and you're starting to, I feel like you're starting to see through the illusions of yourself. You're starting to part of the dark night of the soul is taking responsibility for your actions and, and changing within yourself, the essence of yourself, understanding, right? Seeing your errors and your ways and fixing them. No one's perfect. We always, everyone makes mistakes. And if you keep seeing the same person and the same archetype, you're making the same choice. So you got to see that choice and change it. And I feel like that's what that moon is. You're seeing those illusions. You're seeing through that within yourself. This is a huge, whoever this reading is for, you're going through major, major changes here. Um, and I feel like, to be honest, make the effort, like the great love is worth taking the steps. I feel like that's you. Like make the steps, to, take the steps to love you first. And then, then you will start to draw in. I have goosebumps while I'm saying that. That's pretty crazy. I don't know why. <laughs> But I feel like that's a powerful message for you is you really need to love yourself. If you're feeling like there's something wrong with you or, you know, you don't like your choices, it's okay. You just got to change that. You got to look at yourself, see why you're making those and just work on changing that. You know, there it's, you can't change the past, but learn from it so that you can change your future. So is there anything else you want to say to Capricorn about this? Uh, we did one love reading. This is definitely not one so we will find out if there's love coming um and if not we'll find out when capricorn but i feel like right now you're going through a huge transformation love should not be on your mind if you want my honest opinion but that's just my opinion um the seven of sort like for me and i'm a capricorn venus so for me when i um when i'm upset or when i'm trying to go through major change i don't like to have a partner in my life i don't like to have somebody always in my ear because i feel like they could influence me and i feel like that's a message here too is this is the time to be by yourself. I know you might feel lonely, but you don't have to be lonely just because you're alone. If you truly love yourself and you're going through this transformation and building the life you want, it will be a pleasurable experience in the end, but not right now. So the seven of swords and the ten of wands. So you are, it's going to take a lot of strategy. It's going to take some planning, um, but you're dropping this burden, baby. This cycle is done and it's telling you just to be like, look at him looking back at it. He's looking back. But he's going forward. You know what I mean? He's looking back saying, that's my past. I've dropped those burdens. I'm moving past that cycle. And I'm going to do it strategically. I'm going to do what's best for me. I'm going to put myself first here. And it's not selfish to do that. It's actually required to make yourself happy to do that. But a lot of people do think it's selfish because they've been programmed to think that. All right. So Capricorn, what do you have to surrender to? Let's get some Oracle messages. What does Capricorn have to surrender to during this transfer? Wow. Sagittarius got the same card. <laughs> maybe you have a lot of Sagittarius in your chart or Sagittarius is a lot of Capricorn. Maybe you guys are intertwined somehow. Maybe you're dealing with the Sagittarius in some shape or form, but they got the, it's very, it's eerie. Okay. The universe is reminding you that you are cared for always, whether you're afraid of change in your job, your health or relationship, or if you fear aging or death, repeat the affirmation. I have faith that all is well, you know, everything changes. Nothing is stagnant. Everything changes all the time. It's the ebbs and flows of the universe. You just got to go with the flow. And I feel like right now, Oh, there's a major flow going with you. <laughs> All right. So what's the energy oracle message here for Capricorn? What do you want to say? Community in reverse, card number seven. So as always with the oracle deck, when only one comes out, the message is in the book, Capricorn. That's what I believe to be true. Always have, always will. Let's get your message. So this card indicates feelings of isolation and perhaps loneliness. You're definitely feeling lonely, Cappy. I'm so sorry. There may have been a recent disconnect with an old association or even a disillusion of some wider partnership. This may result in feelings of loss and grief, but take heart. It is often the case as you shift your energy into a higher vibration that you find that you no longer resonate with old acquaintances the way that you used to. If that's the case, it may be time to move on to more resonance associations. Let yourself network in ways that reflect your higher intentions. Meditation groups, classes, book clubs, things like that, where you can meet new acquaintances in closer harmony to you. You needn't allow your isolation to continue. You may take some conscious effort on your part, but now is the time to reconnect, network, and gain the sense of support that you're looking for. And that's typical when you're going through that, that, that dark night of the soul. Everything, all your friends, all your lovers, nothing resonates. All of a sudden, everything is just different. And you're just like, you look at things differently, and you're just trying to figure out, like, what the fuck? <laughs> really? That's how I felt part time. It was just like, what, what am I doing? What am I thinking? What am I feeling here? This doesn't even, what am I, you know, and you just start to put yourself first again and realize that, you know, 
maybe you're coming out of this dark night of the soul. So get out there and start to meet people that are resonating with the, the new you. The, the changes that you've made within yourself, right? They're out there. You just got to find them. Your vibe attracts a tribe. And it's funny because, again, with Sagittarius, that's what I was saying to them, is your frequency will attract the people to you. So as you're rising, if you're rising in your frequency, but the people that are around you are not, you're not going to be vibing anymore. And you're definitely going to get left out and feel like you're all alone. So begin to see yourself as a spiritual being having an earthly experience of growth and transformation. You are definitely going through some kind of dark night of the soul here. Great, great transformations in your life, Capricorn. And I know they're hard to go through, but they end amazing. They bring you the fulfillment that you're looking for, that you're missing. When you go through these, these when we go through these, um, they also come with cycles. But when we go through these, you know, you see things so differently and you become such a better person. Oh, all right. So we have a message here. So they are lying. So if you were questioning whether someone was being truthful or you thought they were lying, but you weren't sure, that's confirmation that they are lying. Oh, and go for it. Just go for it. You know, you are worth it. Just go for it. So I don't know if those are for two different people or not, but you can take the one that resonates. Take them both if you want. All right, let's find out. Let's see where this is. How are you feeling? Where's Capricorn in a month from now? And again, if we don't see love here, I don't know if we will. Maybe we will. But if we don't, we'll find out a time frame for you, Cap. The Knight of Cups. Whoa, oh, oh. whoa. Card fell on the floor there. So we have the Knight of Cups. We have the Seven of Cups. We have the Six of Wands. We have the Nine of Wands in reverse. We have Justice. Let me grab this card here. And the Queen of Swords in reverse here. So. So you do have options. You do have a choice. <laughs> this Knight of Cups is coming in. So there's a water sign here, uh, Capricorn. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But they're coming in. They want your, they want to, like, I'm being drawn to his wings there. So I feel like they're a spiritual warrior as well. I feel like they've had their dark night of the soul as well. Um, their, their third eye is open. Their spiritual connection is there. And they see you. And you got an option here. You got some choices. Do you want, are you ready for love? That's the question. I really feel like that's the question. Are you ready for this? Um, they want your attention. <laughs> Six of wands and the seven and the nine of wands. So I feel like you, they want you to drop your guard. I feel like you probably have 20 foot walls around you right now going through your shit. You just put, you, I, you know, you've isolated yourself. You got your walls up. This person wants your attention. They want you to drop the guard. They want you to pay attention to them. They're probably sitting there like Capricorn. Look at me. Talk to me. Hug me. Talk to me. Look at me. I'm over here. You know, I just keep seeing like, like you're in an office cubicle and their head's like popping up over the cubicle thing. I don't know why I'm seeing that, but that's kind of what the vibe that I'm feeling is they're just like, pay attention to me. I'm over here. Look at me. Talk to me. You know, that person wants your attention. Um, the Justice and Queen of Swords in reverse. I feel as though maybe they could be a Libra um, and not a water sign, but um, I feel like you're being cold to them. Capricorn I feel like you're you're cutting them out um what is this why are you cutting them out it's like you want justice but you're not getting your justice the five of cups in reverse the queen of wands the king of swords to the queen of swords um that's how I feel like you're the queen of wands that's how they see you but I feel like you're in the air energy you're like in the king of swords energy you're, yeah, I feel like um, you're not ready for it. You're not, that's what I had said. Like the question is, are you ready for love? And I don't think you are. I think this person has a lot of potential and they see a lot of potential in you. Um, and I see you just n not going with it. You just, I don't see, I see you kind of being blunt with them and just saying, look, I'm going through a lot of shit. I, I really don't have time to, I just want to, I got to get through this on my own. So maybe you'll stay friends with them because, um, but I do, I, do, I feel like you, you don't go for this Knight of Cups. So in a month from now, you got this person coming in here, Capricorn. They want your attention. They see you as beautiful, magnetic, sexy, attractive. They, they, maybe you've talked about, you know, your spiritual aspects, some of the changes that you're going through, but I feel like you're in King of Swords mode. You're just trying to get control of your life. You're trying to get yourself where you want to be before you can even invite somebody else into your heart. Um, 
So I feel like you're just facing your life head on right now. You're trucking forward, doing what you got to do and creating the life that you want before you can even let anybody else in. I feel like um, I'm really being drawn to this eagle for some reason. So maybe eagle symbolism has something or is a meaning to you. Um, but I'm picking up on you're just trucking forward. You, I mean, if you are in the king of rods and this is how they see you, you're just taking care of business and you're doing what you need to do right now. Um, and I really do feel like that. Um, so that's what I have for you, Capricorn. Um, let's see if you stay friends with this person. Like, do you totally remove them? I don't know why I'm curious about that. This Knight of Cups, do they... The Six of Wands, kind of sideways. <laughs> what do you want to say with that? The Eight of Pentacles in reverse, yeah. You don't, um, you don't give them the day, the time of day. You're not interested in this person. Um, you don't want to work on it with them. And I don't even see you keeping them around, actually. So you just tell them, I don't want the... You just don't want it. It's just, I feel like it's just a distraction. You have a lot going on. And I know this was supposed to be a love reading. And if you, and it, um, but there's no, there's not, the opportunity comes in, but it's not, you're just not ready yet, Capricorn. I'm sorry. I don't think that you are ready for it yet. All right. So let's get to your yes or no question. The yes or no, the answer is yes, but not now. Okay. So thank you so much for watching. I truly wish you the best of luck until next time.